Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is my birthday and I thought I would do my birthday makeup with y'all. So we're going to jump in pretty quick. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been with me, thank you. And if you don't like me or my videos, please don't fucking watch me. I'm my cup of tea and I'm okay with that. All right, so what I'm going to start with, well, I already started with, I did some Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Face Base. I primed my lids. Woo! I'm already dropping shit. Uh, with some soft ochre by MAC. And I set my lids and yeah, I'm getting ready to go to dinner. So I, I gotta get going. Of course, I procrastinate till the very last minute that I have to get ready. <laughs> but it's my birthday. I can do what I want. Um, I thought I'd work out of the James Charles palette today just because it has all the colors I need and I don't feel like pulling 50 palettes. So I'm gonna use the yellow, the orange, the red. Um, I had a couple looks I wanted to do. Um, and I ended up just I just want to do this look for my birthday. Um, so yeah, but I have some other looks I want to do eventually. Um, we're going to dive in. So I'm going to do this eye with y'all. I need to wipe my mirror. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take the yellow, which I think is mom or B or something like that. I don't feel like looking at all the names. This is just to get ready with me. So it's not that serious. I'm going to take this color and use it as my transition color. I feel like being bright and bold and yeah. Makeup by Mandy did a beautiful look um, for her April. Well, she does like a the monthly birthstone series. Um, it's really good. You should check it out. Um, I can link her below. Um, but she did April and she did a beautiful look and I really wanted to recreate it. And I'm just... I don't know, just too lazy today. I just slept late and I did what I want and yeah. So I'm just gonna build this yellow up just a little bit. And you know, probably won't see it much by the time I'm done, but it's a good way to start the transition, right? Yes. So yeah, I got to sleep late like I wanted, even though I went to bed at like, I went to bed super early last night. I don't know why I slept all day, but I guess my body wanted to. I'm going to go into that color orange. I guess I'll look at the names just so. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I always put my names right. I do that. I think it's called 518. Um, I'm going to start with that one right below the shallow color. And yeah, I kind of just wanted to do a bright orangey red look. That's what I'm going for. Now you can see that one way more than the yellow. Yeah, that's okay. I figured so. The yellow is more of just a transition. You don't always see that. And I'm gonna go in with the yellow real quick with the first brush I started with. And we're gonna go around it just a little bit. I know this yellow can be really bright and, and impactful if you make it. I'm not gonna. I'm just going to do it kind of light. Yep, yep, yep. So yesterday I went to see Jeffree Star and it did not work out. For some reason I thought if I went a little bit later, maybe the crowds would be died down, but no. And you couldn't even see him in the Morphe store. Like I could see into the Morphe store. My husband said he could see people going into a back room because he's like 600 feet tall. Um, so he said, you can't even see Jeffree Star. So I didn't feel like waiting that line in the video that I posted was just to get into the Morphe store. That wasn't to see him. That was strictly just to get into the Morphe store. And I was like, hell fuck no. There was no way I would have made it. So um, I think I'm going to go into a little bit darker of a color, this orange. And I think it's called Rusted or Halloween. I think it's called Rusted, actually. So we're going to use her. I'm just kind of building up. A few colors that's gonna deepen my orange just a little bit so that when I put my red in there um, it all look really nice yeah I was very nervous in my video yesterday I did such a like basic it was such an easy look but to me it looked like shit I was so nervous coming back on here that I was like choppy with the eyeshadow I don't know I almost took that video down because I was a little embarrassed but I was like fuck it's being real I'm just gonna leave it so, I can do makeup better than that some days. <laughs> some days. I'm going to go back into that yellow, and I'm just going to kind of keep using it so I get a nice, smooth blend. 
that's something that really bothered me yesterday with my video was how not smooth it was and <laughs> not blended. Um, and now I'm going to go into this red color and I think it's called You're Kidding. It's right below, a little rustic where it is. That one right there. And we're going to stick that kind of on the outer corner. And yeah. When you first see my video and you see me for a second smile and then I start the video, it's because I have to like um, pause it real quick so I can make it autofocus because I use my phone now. I don't really use my camera anymore because um, I can pause it and then my videos don't, you know, they aren't so long. Well, they are still long. They're just not two parts. So I've been using my phone mostly. And we're just gonna gonna get a bright sunsetty crazy looking eye <laughs> and then i think what i'm gonna do is take a clean brush make sure it's clean actually and i'm just gonna kind of blend all that together does that look okay yeah it looks okay i've got look at how i'm holding my brushes like freddy cougar <laughs> But yeah, so I think we're going to go to dinner. Um, I got some really great gifts this year. Um, my husband was really bothered that I, when I showed my ring that I got for Valentine's Day, I only said black diamonds and it had, obviously, regular diamonds in it. He was like, you only said black diamonds. <laughs> I was like, oh, I, well, sorry. But um, what did I get? I got Jeffree Star stuff. I've gotten to order all his stuff. Um, what else did I get? I always get good gifts. Oh, my husband took me yesterday and got me some makeup because I was so bummed out that I didn't get to see Jeffree Star. So we went to Sephora and I got a few things. And I know my sister's going to watch this video and get mad at me, but um, she didn't go with me out there. So it's her fault. But I'm going to go with her this week and we're going to go hit up the VIB Rouge sale. So, yeah. I'm just going to fiddle with this for a few minutes until I get it where I want it. I didn't want to do another pink look, so that's what I'm shooting for. I'm just going to kind of dip back and forth between those two oranges and blend out that red a little bit. After it's all said and done, this is all going to look like it just muddied up anyways, but it's kind of what I wanted. All right, and then I'm going to take that red and start bringing it in a little bit. Right here, make sure I got a good amount in my outer corner. I really appreciate um, all the comments and stuff and all the support. Um, I will get a Jeffree Star blood, blue blood pal uh, video up soon. Um, I'm just waiting for my concealers, but and I haven't even really played with it. So I took it to the beach with me and I think I use like one color out of it and then I end up going a completely different direction and um, I hated my makeup that day just because my face was in really bad shape that day um, but yeah I always whenever I pack makeup when I'm going out of town I always pack the makeup that I'm afraid if somebody were to come in and rob my house like the makeup that if, if I couldn't live without you know yeah I'm crazy like that so now I'm going to go into this color called Shit, it's the last four. I think it's called Love That. It's kind of a deeper, plummier color. And this is just going to stay on my outer corner. Just a little bit, just to deepen. See, just want to deepen a little bit, give a little purpley without being too purple. I really love this color. I want to do a look with just this color. And I'm barely going to bring it in. This is, like I said, going to give me just a little bit more depth. All right, and then I'm going to take a clean blending brush again, and I'm just going to go around everything and make it smush it all together like that. Yeah, all right, that's working the way I want. Going with a little bit more red. There we go. I've done this look a bunch of times, something similar, you know, so don't hate me. I just, this is what I wanted to do for my birthday. So, all right. I'll clean all this up later when I do my foundation. This is a clean brush again. I'm just kind of going in 
making sure everything blends good enough. All right, and so this is this is going to be the easy, simple, fun part. Um, I am going to go in. I think I want to use Perlina from Stila. I think I'm going to start with that, and if I don't like it, I'm going to go over it with Diamond Dust. Um, that looks kind of crazy on my outer corner here, so let me clean that up a little bit. But yeah, something like that. And you should probably cut your crease for this. I'm a fucking lazy bitch, so I probably won't. Um, yeah, I don't feel like cutting my crease. So I'm going to use Perlina, and I'm just going to go over my lid. And hopefully not shake too much. This color is a little bit different than Diamond Dust because it's got... Diamond Dust has more gold and silver reflex, and this has more um, pinkies, pinky... Uh, Kind of iridescent, so I really like this one. And I just want a little shimmer, a little glitter on my lid. Nothing too crazy. I'm not even going to go heavy with it. I just want to be able to see it when I open my eye. Just like that. kind of wanted to do what my fingernails look like. So that's what we're doing. Very simple. All right. We're done. See how easy that was? All right, and now I'm going to use some of my bougie makeup today just because it's my birthday and I feel like it. I am going to go in with my, well, I need to let this dry, actually. Hold on. Let me let this dry. I'm going to go in with my Tom Ford eyeliner and mascara. Just give me a sec. Let me fan this fucker. Good. I really want to use this new Fenty lip color I got yesterday. I think it's called Unattached. Um, it might not match perfectly to what I got going on, but it's what I what I want to use today. So I love the Fenty lipsticks. I have almost all of them. The only one I don't have is the purple and black one. Um, just because I know I probably won't ever use them, but I probably should buy them so I have the full set. Just in case, Halloween will be here before you know it. Alright, so I'm going to use the Tom Ford eyeliner. She looks like this. She's a beast. I don't know which side I want to use. Okay, this one. We're going to go in and just line our eyes real quick. Just going to do a real little line. When I was growing up, because of my hooded eyes, I didn't really know how to work the eyeliner. So you, when I'd have my eye open, you'd just see a black strip. Oh, Lord, I should show you guys some pictures one day of how my makeup used to look. I've come a long way, let's just say that. <laughs> I'm going to use the... Um, Tom Ford Ultra Length Mascara. I'm going to go in with that real quick. Okay, get the lid off. And then I'm going to hop off and do some lashes real quick in my other eye. And then I will be right back. I love this mascara. It's so good. It's like one of my favorites. Most, most of my Tom's Ford stuff is like some of my favorite. I'm going to use the same lashes I used yesterday, which are the style Sassy. And I'm going to throw all this together and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Got the lashes on. The eyes are done. Looking somewhat even. We're going to go with even, okay? Because I don't want to sit here and play with it no more. So I'm going to use a little bit of Guerlain real quick. Um, ooh, that squirt is like far. We're just going to stick a little on. Especially under my eyes because it helps with my wrinkles. I put my touch under my eyes too and it's like a, it really does help. Okay. I feel like my forehead's way more moist than it should. Whoa, hello. What are we doing? I feel like I need to kind of take that down a notch. There we go. There we go. You know always why I get so sweaty on my forehead. Probably because I'm fat. And this fucking light, like, radiates heat. It's crazy. All right, now I'm going to go in with some Tatcha. This is the silk canvas. I'm just going to stick a little here and a little bit under my eyes. Pretty much the same thing I did yesterday. Um, but a little different. Yes. All my kids just got home, so getting ready so we can leave. 
All right, and then I'm gonna go back in with the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. Still working on trying to get that last bit out. I'm gonna put this all over. I think it really helps with texture. There we go. Oh, it feels better. I didn't carve my eyebrows out that much this time. So hopefully I don't screw them all up. I just don't trust my hands when it comes to like putting foundation around there. So yeah. Um, I'm going to go in with both my Dior's. This is Dior Forever and this is the Dior, Dior, Dior Forever Skin Glow. I like to mix them. Shake the shit out of them real quick. I should have did that, but I forgot. <laughs> Pardon me. I'm just going to put a little bit on this guy. Yes, I'm looking for dewy skin today. We'll start with that and see if we need more. Hopefully I don't need more than that. It's a lot. I got a big face though, and I have a lot to cover. Oh. You need to pick up the pace, Bacani. A little bit up there. I'm really nervous about going around my brows but y'all say a quick little prayer for me okay that we don't look at my brush is just shedding I think we use my other one that one's shedding a lot and I don't like it to get my nerves this one's shedding too a little bit come on give me one it won't come out when I pull it but as soon as I touch this fucker to my face it will bitches all right I'm gonna do this real quick and I'll be right back all right, boom, got that done. Now I'm gonna go in with two of my kind of recent favorite, besides my Jouer one, um, concealers. I like the Born This Way by Too Faced, and then I like putting down first the Studio Fix 24-Hour um, Smooth Wear Concealer. So I like, I like to be extra. So we're gonna put this one down first. I think I stuck my eyelash. Babe, I'm recording again. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> I just didn't know if you want everybody to hear you laughing. <laughs> he is literally the cutest person in the whole world. I love that man with all my heart. I got the sweetest message that my kid posted on his Instagram today. Fucking had me crying like a baby. He put pictures up of us and stuff and said that I was the best mom in the world. And yeah, it just really touched me. Said that I was his mom and nobody else could have me. <laughs> it's real sweet. Sweet kid. Thank me for who he was. and Yeah. It meant a lot to me. Okay, come on, concealer. It's not... It's a little, like, watery, and it moves around a little bit. But, you know, I like it. It gives moisture to my eyes, which I need. Because I'm a smoker, and I've got wrinkles. And so I think smoking for as long as I have been smoking, I've given myself a lot of wrinkles. So I'm always trying to put moisture in there with them. But yeah, and I'm going to put just a tiny, tiny bit of this in here because more is more. And that's a little too light. A little too light, so we're going to bring it back down to earth a little bit here. All right. Yeah, I love how these two work together. The combination is good. I like it. I can't wait for the Jeffree Star concealer to get here. I haven't even got a notification that it's processed and shipped yet. It's pissing me off. I don't think I'm going to order from him, his site anymore if it's going to take two and a half, three weeks to get everything I order. Because I do like the $100 so I get the free shipping. And I'm just sick of waiting so long to get my stuff. So I want it now. All right, that's going to work. I feel like that's good. Let's look at the big mirror real quick, make sure we're good. Yes. All right. Good. That'll do. Um, next, I'm going to go in with my cream bronzer. I'm going to use my Chanel. Um, this is the Soleil Tan de Chanel. You guys tell me I'm in a little bit better mood, a little bit more calmer today. <laughs> Yesterday, I swear I was just 
I should never get up that early. In good faith, no one should ever get up that early. It's too early. I'm going to use the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. This is an orange blossom. It's a newer one. Um, I've used it quite a bit, actually. I really like it. Um, yeah, we're going to spray our face. Or spray our brush real quick. Um, pick up some cream bronzer. Stick that there. Blend it out. I need to get a smaller brush. This one's frayed out and I'm too lazy to wash it. Let me get a smaller one here for this little part of my face because it's so small. All right, let's act like we know what we're doing, girl. There we go. All right. I just wanted to use some of my favorite products today. I need to start using up some of my other stuff that I don't use a lot because... I don't want it to go bad, so I need to rotate a little bit deeper into my collection. All right, I got that done. Next, I'm going to go into my... Oh, where am I going to put you so you don't get in my way? Um, my Tom Ford Shape and Illuminate. I don't know, it's like a cream contour. Which looks like that. I'm going to use that color real quick. Same thing, I'm gonna spray my brush um, with that same product real quick. I'm just gonna go right in with the brush. Give myself a little bit of a shadow effect. Just a little, it's a little bit deeper than that bronzer. Oh, don't, 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 don't mess up my stuff. And then if I feel like I've went, you know, and fucked me all up, I'm just going to take my foundation brush and kind of, again, bring us back down to reality. <laughs> I get a little can't, I get a little ham, I get a little carried away. I love makeup so much, though. It truly makes my heart happy. And I'm going to take a little bit and just go along my neck right here so that I have a neck or at least a jawbone. There we go. Okay, and for good measure, I'm going to put a little bit up here, just a tiny bit. Most of this gets covered up with powder, but I just, it's my process. The more makeup I can put on my damn face, the better I always feel. <laughs> who else is like that? Who loves makeup so much that they could just keep going and not realizing how much they're actually putting on? Like, I could probably do my makeup so much quicker if I didn't have this long-ass process I got to go through, but I like it. It makes me happy. I'm going to go in with the Tom Ford. This is another one. This is a cream blush. And I'm going to mix both of those. Hopefully this works out. They're both like an apricot orange color. So we're just going to do that. My hair is starting to fuck with me again. Who else has the worst baby hair in the world? Do I have the most unruly baby hair I've ever seen in my life? Like, I need to learn how to, like, snatch my edges or something. Jesus. It's ridiculous. Like, hands down, worst baby hairs. They're just flyaways. It's crazy. And I even have my hair pulled back a little bit better than yesterday. It doesn't matter, it seems like. <laughs> it does what it wants. All right. I'm going to take my sponge. Just go back over that. So I blend everything good. All right, good, good, good. Now I'm gonna go in with my powder stuff. I'm gonna go in with my La Mer um, skin color. I don't know, it's this, it's the, the, the La Mer powder. All right, it comes out really fast, so I don't want a lot, damn it, that was a lot. Ah, it's okay. Oh, I just lost a brush. We are a brush down, damn it. I might have to pause to get that. I'm going to use this to set underneath my eyes and all over my face. I'm just going to use a smaller brush around my eyes. Okay. Got some on there too. I hate wasting this because it's so fucking expensive. There we go. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. This is such good powder. But you can definitely, you know, you don't have to go out and buy expensive shit to have good makeup. I just feel like I was a princess in a former life. And that's why I'm so drawn to, like, 
expensive, nice things. <laughs> and my family treats me like a princess. Hold on, I gotta grab that brush I dropped. Ugh, it's my bronzer brush. All right, and I'm gonna use a bigger brush and get all over my face real quick. Hopefully, there we go. Look at the holes in this thing, it is so big. It's the only thing I don't like about it. It's a little hard to get out because you're trying to just, you know, bring a little bit out. And if you're not careful, the whole thing will dump out. I've done that before. I've wasted more of this fucking powder than I probably used. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, I just love it so much. I'm starting to feel like Sarah again. Woohoo. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go in with my Tom Ford bronzer. Um, this is the ultimate bronzer. She's a big bitch. She looks like that. I'm gonna go in and just start doing the same thing I just did with all the creams. Okay. This isn't a very, um, how do I say this bronzer? It's not like overly pigmented. It's very forgiving. You know how rich people and like celebrities and stuff, they barely wear any makeup. That's what this is designed for. People who don't want a heavy beat. You know what I mean? But I like it. Makes me feel bougie and special. So I use it. And then I'm going to go in with my powder contour. Um, this is the Dior Backstage Contour Palette. It's like that. I'm going to try to be careful with this because for some reason I go so fucking heavy with this one. I always start with this one and I dip into the darker one and I need to just not. I need to be careful. Yeah, that's enough. See? But then I'm going to dip just like, boom, like that. Like a tiny bit. Because <laughs> more is more. You know what I mean? More is more. There we go. Yes. Okay. Let's start with the light one. Okay, now I'll mix a little bit of the dark. Oh, I feel like I had way more control over it this time than yesterday. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a little bit of the light one and just go along my jawline to create a jawline. I'm going to go in with the both dark and light one right here. A little behind the ears. So I don't know how many people have an Applebee's, but who else goes to Applebee's and fucking loves it, dude? I am obsessed with Applebee's. And I only want the same thing every time I'm there. It's the penne chicken pasta. That's where I want to go tonight. My husband's like, you can go anywhere you want. Where you go? I want to go to fucking Applebee's. <laughs> oh, I'm going to use a Marc Jacobs bronzer. This is in Lines and Last Night. Very peachy. Kind of what I'm going for today. I kind of just noticed that more expensive products are very forgiving. You know what I mean? Like, you can kind of go overboard and fix it real easy. Well, it doesn't really allow you to go too overboard either. I don't know. You know what I mean, right? It just seems very forgiving. So I thought today I would just do that. All right. I'm going to give myself a spray real quick. And I really want to use this new Forsali's Rose Gold Skin Mist. Now we're going to shake it up and hopefully it don't ruin my makeup because I have not used it yet. Fingers crossed, y'all. Here we go. Well, I haven't used it. Ooh. Oh, it does feel nice. Oh, it smells delicious. Ooh, I like that. It smells like the um, Frisali's little dropper ones, which I have all those too. I just didn't feel like using that. I wanted to use the uh, Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base because, I don't know, I just feel like my skin really loves that product. All right, so let's finish the under eyes. My eyelash keeps sticking right here because I was not careful. Um, all right, what are we going to use for under the lashes? Am I going to go red? Should I think I'm going to use a red one. All right, fuck it. Yeah, we're going to use a red one. I can find my mascara, my lower lash mascara. Nope. 
I guess I'm going to use the Tom Ford. Oh, I was supposed to use the Dior one up top and this one on bottom. I'm going to use this one on bottom too because I fucked up. I forgot. Um, so I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Fine Wine. It's a little bit of a reddier, purpley toned one. And I'm going to clean off the edges. This is the only thing I don't like about this mess. This eyeliner is it builds up right along the edge right there. And then it can go kind of crazy. All right, so we're going to stick this here in the eye and just kind of do that. It's pigmented. Get in there. Yeah, I definitely glued my eyelash to my lower lash line. <laughs> Whoops. I want a little bit on the lash in my lashes. As it helps my my shit stay in place. All right, and I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs Black Lacquer. Ooh, what did I do to it? Shit, I think I fucked it up. Shit, what's wrong with it? Are you broken? Did I break you? God dang it. That's okay. I'm gonna stick this in my lash line. I think normally people would go in with a white to open up their eyes, but I like black. There we go. Okay. Sorry if I blocked y'all's view. You didn't miss nothing. I gotta get that little black stuff off or it'll be all over me. All right, so I'm gonna go back into the James Charles palette and I'm literally just gonna use this color. The, um, what the fuck is the name of it? Love that. We're gonna use that one. And I forgot to grab my smaller brushes again, sorry. Dun, 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 dun. All right. I've been liking just doing one kind of, like, trying to just do one color underneath my lash line. I notice my eyes don't water as bad, too, when I do that. But we're just going to use one shade today. Connect it up top. Even though this color was a little bit harder to work with on the outer corner, it's still not a bad color. Yeah, we're going to do that. I like that. I'm going to do it real quick. Hopefully I'm not blocking anybody. Yeah, okay. All right, that'll work. That's going to do. So I think, you know, it'd be pretty to put orange under there, but that's when shit starts getting kind of crazy for me, so I'm not going to. Um, and then I think I'm going to spray my face again. Um, I'm going to use another spray. I've been liking this one, so I'm going to go over it. Okay. Whew. That's the MAC Blossom. Pardon me. I'm a filthy whore, I know. And then I'm going to go into this Dior. Oh, it's so blinding. You can't even see it. Highlighter palette. And I'm going to do my uh, highlighter real quick. And I just go back and forth between these two. All my brushes are starting to shed. Is that a sign I need to, like, wash them? <laughs> Probably. I love this highlighter. Look at that. She purdy. You got a purdy mouth. Hold on. I'm so fat I dropped my thing and I couldn't fucking pick it up. <laughs> All right. We're going to finish. Hurry up, Sarah. I'm just kind of going all over. With highlighter because I like way too much highlighter. And then I think what I'm going to do is just take a smaller, a little smaller brush that I use and use that white color um, underneath my brow bone. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to take that gold color, stick it right in there. Is that what I want? I think so. Actually, I'm going to take the white and gold one and mix them. There we go. Yeah, I like that. We opened up our eyes quite a bit doing that. I have issues when it comes to highlighter, so give me a moment. I, I need a moment alone with my highlighter. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. And then I think what I'm going to do, I'm already starting to sweat a little bit. Oh, that does not make me happy. I'm going to take this Tarte Lip Liner in Mood Ring. I'm going to go around my lips real quick. Mm -mm. 
I have really considered getting lip fillers because I have literally the smallest mouth. And I always get like a cut right here when I try to open my mouth too big. I hate it so much. Um, and then I'm going to go in with this Fenty. I don't even know the names of these. It's the Fenty lipstick. And we're going to stick that on my dick sucker lips. Just kidding. Sorry. That was inappropriate. <laughs> Ugh, look how bright that is. almost damn near red huh I like it I think it makes my blue eyes pop all right Woo! happy birthday to me and then I'm gonna go in with my urban decay all-nighter okay and then I like to set it real quick I feel like it locks it in all right, guys, and I think this is it. Um, this is my final look. Oh, come on here. Let go. I had all these, like, great plans. I'm going to, like, get up and straighten my hair and do all this shit. Hell no, I sure did not. I left it up in a fucking bun, and that's where it stayed. All right, final look. So, I love you guys. Um, make sure to say hi to me down in the comments below. And, um, yeah, happy birthday, Sarah. I love you so much. Um, also, one of my favorite YouTubers' birthdays is yesterday, Britt Clark. I love her so much. So, I didn't get to say happy birthday to her yesterday in my video. So, happy late birthday, girl. I love you so much. Um, and yeah, this is my final look. I love y'all, and I will see y'all soon. Um, two days in a row, though, for a video. What? Who am I? I know. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm getting there. So, yeah. And my face is a little bit better today. So, yes, happy, happy. I don't know how my hair looks, but I never do much with it because I hate my hair. <laughs> All right. That's it. I love y'all. Have a great day. Peace.